Alright, I got my glasses uh, cleaned, I got uh, my magnifiers cleaned, everything's clean, and I'm ready to work on my clay. Time to play with some clay. I think this is one of the reasons I've delayed working on this thing is because these paws scare the hell out of me. Because, you know, I've never... I've done paws once before. And that was for a dog that I attached to a warrior that I had sculpted. But it was a good eight years away, years ago. So I've forgotten everything I did. But... I've got some good illustrations, and uh, I think I can do it. One of the keys to sculpting is just be brave enough to do it. I just hope I can keep all the legs in place or in camera shot. I'll try, but I can't guarantee. So I gotta establish the level of the ground before I get started. I'll just do it around the feet. I'm not going to do it on the whole base until I attach the base to uh, the figure of the mountain man and the woman. Sorry about the cough. I've had it for about a week now. And I can't seem to kick it. And I've got a feeling it's because of uh, hay fever. It is that time of year when the wind's blowing and pollen is flying through the air and I'm affected by it. I need it. Bring that knee down just a little bit further. There we go. I think it'll be just fine. First, I gotta cut off the back of that. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll get it in there. A lot of sight. You're using your eyes to see if it looks right. I don't have an actual dog here to take measurements from. Division right down the middle.
Now I'll make the two side toes. Too bad. Boy, it is windy outside. Okay, get that little extra toe right here. It's way up there. About halfway between there and uh, the joint. The joint is actually higher. There we go. Oh, the toes on the inside is not on the outside. Okay. Okay, let me try that differently. Okay. Get the uh, extra toe in the right place. It might be a good thing. I'm going to basically just sketch it in right now and come back later and put the detail in. I think what I'm going to do is go find a friend's dog and take a look at their feet. I got so involved in my clay, I didn't pay attention to the uh, cameras, and they both turned off on their own, and I have no idea how much I missed. But, anyway, it's, it was probably, I haven't checked my video yet, so I'm not, I don't know whether I kept everything in camera or not. I did both feet, I tried to make them both exactly the same size. I'll try to make the toes the same size. And uh, like I said before, I was just sketching in the uh, feet and this, the lower part of the leg. Um, I'll put more detail into the shoulder and uh, the upper part of the leg next time. 
which will be next week. Uh, I never work on Sunday, if I can help it. The only time I work on Sunday is if I'm showing at a gallery and I've got to be there for on a Sunday. So, other than that, uh, I try to respect the uh, God that gave me my abilities by not working on His day. I think that's a good practice. Besides, you got to take a day off once in a while. All right. So I got the feet, the front feet, somewhat sketched in. I uh, built up the ground around the front feet. I can't do it on the whole thing because I got to uh, screw down this this board onto this, and then I like the way the muscles are looking in the upper part of the leg. Uh, and I'll see you uh, next uh, week. I think it's starting to look like a dog. Not too unhappy. I still got to work on the shoulder, like I said. And, and uh, he's not going to be a long haired dog. He'll be the uh, dingo, which wasn't a long haired animal. I bet they got cold in the wintertime. Mm. All right. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.